Hello, my name is Steve Herman, and I'm really happy that you're my YouTube channel because the whole purpose of this YouTube channel is mediumship training and mediumship education. I do a lot of teaching work, and I, I really like to help others with their development. I've authored two books, Mediumship Mastery, The Ultimate Guide, and recently I've also come out with Mediumship Mastery 2, Advanced Techniques That Work. Both of these are available on Amazon. But I want to talk about mediumship and one aspect of mediumship that concerns me a bit because many mediums teach you need to be very, very considerate when you bring through spirit communications. Considerate and polite to the recipient and considerate and polite to the individual coming through from the world of the spirit. And that's something that which is very important because someone could be grieving, someone's maybe going through some type of turmoil, in their life and they go to a medium. So how you say things really can affect that individual. So we want to be sensitive that way. I mean, you can certainly traumatize an individual who's already traumatized or contribute to that trauma. And, and that's not something that we want to do. Uh, you know, the, the words that spirit comes through, through the medium, when they give us communications, they're carefully planned out those communications. They vet who comes through from the spirit world they really plan it out to a T and orchestrate it in a way that they're going to convey what is best for the highest good of the recipient and also for the highest good of the spirit who's coming through. So you want to be sensitive. You know, there's, there's an, a way of saying things, a way of wording things, which is professional, which is... So the, the content is articulated very well. And, and, and part of training as a medium, it's learning how to... Put what you're receiving from the world of the Spirit, the thoughts that are impressed in your mind, into words that will convey the essence of what they're trying to come across. And sometimes it's a, a bit abstract and you have to interpret it, you know, and put it into words. That's more of a challenge. And sometimes it's very factual and exact. A little bit of both. And training to be able to do that well takes a while. What they want to say, but also in a, in a manner that the recipient will, will understand what they're trying to get across. And this, this as a process doesn't happen overnight. You know, you really have to work at it over a period of time. You, you, you learn to raise your vibration and really strengthen your attunement to the spirits working with you and get your analytical mind out of the way. So when it comes to giving out information, you know, the, the ethics involved are very, 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 very important. Now, now unfortunately, what happens sometimes is Mediums will get information, and they might have issues with some of the information. I mean, they may have someone who comes to them for a session, and maybe they're even in a public situation, and, and the spirit that comes through, maybe it's just a very dysfunctional individual. They're, 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 when they were here physically, and you know, they go into the spirit world, they're still dysfunctional. They get healing. They're working on things. Maybe they've come to terms with just where they were at that wasn't on the highest type of level with their behavior, with their actions toward others, their mode of thinking. And there's therapists, there's healers, who are entire teachers who work with people like that. Right? We have to take responsibility for where we're at. And people don't always do it here. They, 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 don't, they don't get the help, even if the resources are there. Sometimes they just, through their own free will, they don't get the help and then they come through. So it's planned out what they're going to say. I, I recently was working at this one spiritualist church, and I brought through this one communicator from the world of spirit who was came through. I, I, you know, the first thing I said, I, I felt the individual was drunk, and this individual, I, he had different work situations that he was in. He would just goof off, procrastinate, not put energy into it. Consequently, it greatly affected his family. You know his wife, his children, his whole material situation was affected by this. And his alcoholism was not something which was good. Now, this is emphasized, you know, because the higher spirits had this person come through and they permitted this individual. And that's what I felt and that's what I described. Now, a couple of days later, the pastor of the church spoke to me and she said, oh my gosh, you know, there's this woman at the church, and she was appalled by what you said because you described this person who was a drunk, and oh my gosh, 
you know, it wasn't really ethical. I mean, what if that had, would have embarrassed the person who had received the message? This is interesting. I mean, and this is something to think about. You know, think about it. I mean, if you're in a public situation and someone comes through and says, you know, I've got this man from the world of spirit and he was a drunk and he smells of alcohol, you know, th these types of things. Now, as a medium, how do you handle that type of situation? What are your responsibilities? And What's, what's quite interesting about the situation is I just explained to, to this pastor that this is the way I receive the information and I don't tone things down. Because she was saying, well, if I got something like that, I would tone down the information. You know, because she wouldn't want to embarrass someone, right? And, and, and there's something to that. But what is our responsibility as mediums? Yes, it's to help the people here. But are we aware of the full picture? Do we really know the situation? And she said, well, what if, you know, you wouldn't want to call someone fat who's coming through from the spirit world. Well, maybe you would if an individual who's quite obese came through from the world of spirit. And let's say this happened. And they said, you know, I'm fat so. I was really fat. Or say that fat so was here. Would you use those words? Or would you say, oh, I've got someone who's a bit on the larger size. No. You don't know how evidential that might be. You don't know the overall situation as a medium. And ethically, as mediums, we have a responsibility to give out what we get as we get it to the best of our ability. Now, that individual, let's say they were overweight, their nickname might have been Fat So. I mean, how do you know this? They might have been totally okay with the fact that they were overweight. The person who's the recipient, that may be profound, so greatly meaningful to that individual to, to hear those exact words. So we should never assume anything as mediums. The spirit world, they know where someone is at. And I can tell you this, they're not going to say something that will traumatize someone. They're not going to come through the information that's going to embarrass someone you know, or give negative type of information to someone. So if, if spirits present themselves in, in, in dysfunctional ways, let's say they say, hey, you know, I was a drunk. Well, if they say, I was a drunk, that's how you want to word it. If they want to tone down that information, they will tone it down in how they convey it to you as a medium. Now, what I'm saying right now, I know there's quite a few mediums who teach, who are very experienced mediums, who would disagree with this, who feel, oh, we have to, you know, we can't say that. You know, we, oh, I, that, that information isn't proper. Once you start doing that as a medium, you start getting involved in interfering in a way that's really, it's not ethical, it's not good. Because they, there's so much effort for them to come through. And of course, like I said, these are very well thought out messages. You start changing things around. How, and who are you? How do you know what to change around? Who are you to change things around? What is the criteria? You know, you leave parts out. You add something, try to make it sound a little nicer. The meaning gets lost. When we go to a session with a medium, it can be very, very, very deep, very profound. It can completely change your life for the better. Now, there are definitely, you know, negative types of messages. You know, you're going to die tomorrow. The wheels are going to fall off your car. But the spirit world's not going to come through with stuff like that. If you're working properly with the world of the spirit, they will give you information that transforms the person who's the recipient and help that person. So that's the whole purpose behind this. It's all about love and it's all about healing. I remember I was up, this is going back many years ago, I was up at Temple Heights Spiritualist Camp in Maine, which has been around since 1880. It was amazing. Right by the water, they used to come in by boat. These slopes overlooking the bay. It's powerful energy. And I remember this woman said to me, you know, Two years ago, I went to this group session with you. And she was actually at a group session. They had, they had these message circles or group sessions, which I was working, you know, running one as, as the medium for the week. And she says, I was with some friends at the group session. You gave me the worst reading I'd ever had in my life, the worst message. And I was just listening, okay. <laughs> and then she said, she followed it with, but I want you to know that it was the best reading I ever had because it was what I needed to hear. And apparently, you know, her aunt or some relative had come through 
and had really chewed her out, really addressed things that she just wasn't doing the right way. So she didn't like it at all at the time. I didn't know this at the time, of course. But then she's driving back with a group of friends she was with. They were all there. We were telling you the same thing. <laughs> you know what the Spirit said through that medium. And she thought about it and reflected. And she realized, my gosh, actually, I needed to hear all that. So as a mediums, trust what the Spirit gives you. Now, in this particular situation with, with the guy who was drunk coming through from the Spirit world, you know, it was owning up to his problem. You know, he was actually trying to work on himself. I... The person who <clears throat> was the recipient, who I really don't know, was, is on my Facebook. That's how she found out about this, this one spiritualist meeting. That's how she came there. And, you know, she got hold of me, and she was very, very, very happy for the communication. And, you know, she wrote me this whole thing all about it. And, oh, my gosh, is there, was her is there ex-husband coming through? I'm, and it was very, very, very specific, her being able to identify the gentleman, but also, all the stuff that seemed to be a little bit, you know, not so good about him, she needed to hear that. And she's very, very, very happy about it. Had I toned down that message, as this other medium was suggesting, well, it wouldn't have been as effective. It really wouldn't have touched home quite the same way. And as a medium, you don't know that. Your job is to give things out. And if you're working the right way with reverence, with structure, with discipline, and connecting to the higher spirits, you're not going to have a problem with people coming through who, you know, say stuff which is untrue or potentially damaging to someone. So I want to encourage you with your mediumship development. You know, trust the world of the spirit. Learn to work with the world of the spirit. Don't let other people dictate how you work. You know, oh my gosh, we can't talk about that. Oh my gosh, that's too heavy. Even in a public type of situation, there's no, your message is that information that comes through, it can be PG. You know, they're not going to have you swear from the platform, even if they swore, but you'll get that idea. They're not going to tell you something which is going to hurt anyone else. But they can certainly get into information that can be a little bit heavier than just this sugar-coated G version message. And some people like that, you know, both recipients and mediums feel comfortable with this. You know, everyone has issues, everyone has particulars that might uh, trigger them. Don't let your triggers, don't let issues that you have affect the effectiveness that the spirit world can work through you in terms of helping others. So, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching this video. You know, please feel to comment below, you know, smack that subscribe button, and God bless each and every one of you.